Rebecca State next weekend. Um, let's all go ahead and get started in, let's just come into a wide-legged straddle position. So legs out wide and take one hand to the lower back and one hand to the heart. We'll just take a couple big breaths here. Maybe even closing the eyes and just connecting to your breath, your body, your spirit. Hmm. And then take the hand that's on the lower back and use it to cradle the back of the skull. As you take the hand that's on the heart all the way down to the lower belly. And just take a few more big breaths here. Again, feeling your breath. Move the hands, even if just slightly. Go ahead and release the arms down by your side, right outside of the hips. Mm, you can open your eyes if they were shut. As you inhale, rise your arms up until the palms touch. And as you exhale, take hands together in front of the heart. Mm. Go ahead and take your left foot into your inner right thigh and take your fingertips behind your back. Let's get started with some Kapalabhati and Uddiyana. So uh, Kapalabhati, if you haven't done before, is a pumping of the belly as you exhale through the nose. So it's going to look and sound like. So every time you exhale, you're pumping the belly. Uh, we'll finish up a round of, let's say, 15, I'm sorry, 50 Kapalabhati with an Uddiyana. So your Uddiyana, essentially located Vanda, it's an inhale through the nose, an exhale through the mouth, and then you're pulling the belly up and in and holding. So that looks and sounds like. Releasing the belly when you need to inhale. All right, so let's do a round of 50 Kapalbati, one Uyana. Begin. Whenever you release from Uddiyana, take a minute to square your torso with over your right extended leg. And then I'm gonna give you two options. You can either set the fingertips down and just begin to lengthen forward. So kind of a spine lengthening, you're just pulling the chest forward rather than rounding. Or if rounding feels better for you today, you can begin to walk the palms out and roll all the way down over the thigh. And we're just gonna spend five or so big breaths here. So in and out through the nose.
Go ahead and slowly you, uh, walk the hands back in towards you, rising back up. Now let's just swap out the legs. So take your left leg out, your right foot in. And let's do another round of 50 Kapalabhati, one Udiyana. When you finish that, you're going to go straight into that either lengthening or rounding forward fold over the left leg. Your choice. All right. So begin. Whether you choose the spine lengthening forward fold or the rounding forward fold, notice how you can use your breath to grant release to any tight areas, so lower back, hamstrings. Slowly walk the hands back in towards you. And before we get into some abs, let's go ahead and come back to that wide-legged straddle position. And sitting up nice and tall, goal post your arms. The shoulder shrugs, inhale, fill and spread the upper back. Shrug shoulders straight up towards the ears. And as you exhale, squeeze upper shoulder blades, mid shoulder blades. Bend the elbows, squeeze, lower tips of shoulder blades together, pull your shoulders down and lift your chin away from your chest. Good, roll the shoulders out maybe once or twice and then we'll go into a second round. So elbows come back in line with the shoulders. Inhale, fill and spread upper back. Shrug shoulders straight up towards the ears and as you exhale, squeeze, upper shoulder blades, mid shoulder blades. Bend the elbows, squeeze, lower tips of shoulder blades together, pull your shoulders down, lift your chin away from your chest. Good, and roll out the shoulders a couple more times, and then let's come down onto our backs. So we're gonna do two different kinds of abs today. Um, we'll do some regular elbow to knee. I think we'll also do um, frog lifting through. So if you know you like a wall for frog lifting through, you can get kind of close to one. So coming down onto the backs. Go ahead and start by just taking both legs straight up towards the sky. So feel your lower back pressing into the mat and turn your core turning on. Then bend your knees at a 90 degree angle. Clasp your hands behind your head and neck. And then pressing your lower back down, inhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, you can extend your right leg forward. Now lift both elbows towards left thigh. Pull your belly down and your right hip slightly back. Inhale, back to center. Tailbone lifts. Exhale, left leg forward. Lift elbows towards right thigh, belly down, hip down. Inhale, back to center. Tailbone lifts. Exhale, right leg forward. Heart lifts up towards left thigh, pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Tailbone lifts. Exhale, left leg forward. Heart lifts up towards the right thigh, pull your lower belly down. Inhale, back to center. Tailbone lifts. Exhale, right leg forward. 
heart, elbows, lift towards left thigh, put your lower belly down. Inhale back to center, tailbone lifts. Exhale, left leg forward. Elbows lift towards the right thigh, pull your lower belly down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lower head and shoulders down. And take your knees into the chest. You can make little circles with the knees, massage out the lower back. But for our next round of abs, if you don't have a wall near you, that's fine. You're bending the knees at a 90 degree angle and then straddling the legs with the knees bent and taking toes out, heels in. If you have a wall next to you, you wanna get set up so that you have the feet against the wall when the knees are in line with the hips. And then you do the same thing. You straddle the legs with toes out, heels in. So whether you have an actual wall beyond the heels or not, you're gonna imagine that you have a wall, a wall that your heels are pressing against. And when you curl the tailbone up, your feet don't leave the wall. Clasp your hands behind your head and neck. Press your lower back down, and as you inhale, lift head and shoulders up. Now exhale, curl your tailbone up, lift up with the shoulder blades, reach out through the inner thighs, pull belly and hips down. Shoulders stay lifted, big inhale into lower back. Exhale, curl tailbone up, lift up to the shoulder blades, reach out through the inner thighs, pull belly down. Inhale, into lower back. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Lift your shoulder blades a little higher as you reach out through the inner thighs, pull your lower belly down. Two more, big inhale. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Lift up to the shoulder blades, reach out to the inner thighs, little press into those heels, pull belly down. Last one, big inhale. Exhale, curl, tailbone up. Lift up through the shoulder blades, reach out through the inner thighs and pull your belly down. Lower head and shoulders down. Use your hands to guide the legs back together. And then go ahead and roll onto your side. And we're gonna come all the way up into horse. All right. So toes out, heels in. Bend the knees, take the hands to the top of the thighs and just begin to gently press your palms out. Same direction as the bone. You can bend the elbows a little bit so the shoulders soften away from the ears. Now pressing your palms out, same direction as the bone. Inhale. Exhale, Udiana. Second round, begin pressing your palms out, same direction as the bone, and then begin to slightly twist towards your left. Now staying in that twist, inhale. Exhale, Udiana. And coming back to center, we'll do one more. Begin twisting towards the back. Press inner thighs open, twist towards your right, inhale. Exhale, Udiyana. <sighs> when you release, you can come back to center, maybe find a little movement from side to side. And straighten the legs. Angle your toes in towards the body center line. You can take your hands to the hips for this first run. Go ahead and fold forward. And as soon as you come down into that wide-legged forward fold, walk the palms out in front of you and just find a little bit of free movement here. Walk the hands back so they're right underneath the shoulders. And then go ahead and take your toes out, your heels in, and we'll come into little baby skandasana. So on your next exhale, find a little bend to the right knee, left leg straightens, come about halfway in and hold. 
Inhale, back through center. Exhale, left knee bends, right leg straightens. Hold here. One more, back and forth on your own. Just kind of lingering in that um, skandhasana for about a couple breaths. And then once you make it back to center, angle both sets of toes back in, and you can either hang out here with the hands under the shoulders or on a block for four breaths, or you can bend the knees and let the torso fall completely in between the thighs, letting the head go. Inhale, find a halfway lift. As you exhale, walk your palms up towards your left leg. Drop your right knee and rise your arms up. Low lunge, Anjaneyasana, four big breaths. Now pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Squeeze your thighs together, telescope up through the ribs. Exhale, lower your palms, tuck back toes and step right leg forward to fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Let's take an Udiana on the exhale. That first inhale takes you up to stand, rise your arms up. And exhale, fold right back in. Plant palms, inhale, left leg back, low lunge, knee lowers, arms rise up. Notice those areas that feel tense and try and bring a little bit more softness to them by breathing into them. Exhale, lower your palms, step back, downward dog. From your downward facing dog, shift forward into high plank. Hands are underneath the shoulders, press into your palms so that you feel more lifted out of the shoulders. Hips are in line with the shoulders, inhale. Exhale, drop your knees, pause. Pull chest forward, slowly lower down to the belly. And slide your thighs back and take your palms way out in front of you for low cobra. Press into your palms and as you inhale, drag your chest forward. So feel your upper back, your shoulders turned on. And take the hands underneath the shoulders, squeeze the elbows in and press back, downward dog. Let's take three big breaths here. Inhale, lift your left leg. This time bend the knee, open up the hip with big slow hip circles. Straight left leg, square the hips, inhale, step left leg forward, runner's lunge. So back knee is lifted. Toe heel the left foot out, come inside of the left leg and find a little bit of free movement here. So it could be really small, it could get really big if you're feeling that today, but just noticing how your body wants to move, where, where you feel stuck or tight what parts of the body are asking you maybe to go a little easier.
until we heal the left foot back in. Drop the back knee and rise the arms up, low lunge, right back in. Exhale, lower your palms. Then like you were coming into standing splits, tuck the back toes and lift the right leg straight up towards the sky, release your head completely. Rotate out the right ankle. We'll meet in a forward fold. Right foot greets the left, fold over thighs, let your head go. Press down into the feet, inhale, rise up to stand. Exhale, fold right back in. Halfway lift, inhale. As you exhale, plant your palms and step, left leg back, runner's lunge. This time you can toe heel the right foot out and find that same free movement on the other side. Maybe right away noticing how you feel completely different from one side of the body to the other. Hmm. Toe heel the right foot in. Drop back knee and rise the arms up, low lunge. Exhale, lower your palms, tuck back toes, and like you were coming into standing splits, lift the left leg now straight up towards the sky, release your head. We will rotate out the left ankle. On your next exhale, left foot greets the right, big toes touching. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, release your head, fold in. Let's meet in chair, deepen the bend to the knees, rise the torso up, keep the hips low. Soften through your shoulders, your jaw, keep your belly back. Regal post the arms. So we'll move the shoulders in the opposite direction this time. Big inhale. Exhale, press your palms and elbows together in front of you. Round through your upper back. Inhale, press both palms back. Open up through your chest. Exhale, press and round. Inhale, press both palms back. Open up through your chest. Exhale, press and round. And inhale, straighten the legs, rise the arms up. As you exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale. As you exhale, plant your palms and walk back, Dumber Dog. High plank, inhale, wave forward. So hands are right underneath the shoulders. This time as you exhale, squeeze the elbows in and just slowly lower down to the belly. So hands will stay underneath the shoulders this time for cobra. Squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, lift your chest. Pull your shoulders back. Extend your chest forward. Exhale, lower down. Take it back, downward dog. From your downward facing dog, lift right leg. Bend the knee, open up your hip, move into big, slow hip circles. Straighten right leg, square the hips, inhale, step right leg forward, runners. 
This time from your runner's lunge, straighten the right leg as much as you can. Fold over the thigh, let the back of the neck lengthen. Inhale, right knee bends. Exhale, drop the knee. Easy twist, left hand plants, peel right arm open. Open up towards your right. Really squeezing the right knee in as you open up so that you feel the stretch, the twist, coming down into that right hip. Exhale, lower your right palm. Tuck your back toes, and again, like you were coming into standing splits, lift the left leg straight up towards the sky, let your head go. Left foot reach the right, big toes touching, fold over thighs. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, release your head, fold. And rise up to stand as you inhale. Exhale, fold right back in. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant palms, step right leg back, runner's lunge. We're up on the fingertips, shoulders back, chest forward, inhale. Exhale, straighten left leg, fold over the thigh, let the back of the neck lengthen. Inhale, left knee bends. Go ahead and drop the back knee. Let's take an easy twist. Right hand plants, left arm peels open. Again, not letting the knee splay out. Keep it squeezed in so you feel that stretching all the way down this left thigh. Exhale, lower left palm down, tuck back toes. Go ahead and press on up like you were coming into standing splits. The right leg lifts, release your head. Right foot greets the left, fold, big toes touching. Halfway lift, inhale. Take an Udiana on the exhale. When you release from Udiana, let's come straight into chair. Lower the hips, lift the arms up. Pull your shoulders down, pull your belly back. And as you inhale, send your hips back. Lean the torso forward, hover right over the thighs. Weight in your heels. Hold. Exhale, straighten the legs, release and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. As you exhale, plant your palms, walk back, high plank. So preparing for our chaturangas, but not quite coming into them yet. You're in plank. Squeeze your elbows in, inhale. As you exhale, lower halfway, don't go below elbows. Now pause here, keep those elbows glued to the ribs, inhale. Exhale, press back up, high plank. Take it back, downward dog, let's take three big breaths. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, take knee to left elbow. Squeeze those elbows in, hold. Left leg lifts, inhale. As you exhale, step left leg forward, warrior one. So back heel plants at a 45 degree angle. Make sure your feet are just as wide as your hips. You can square the torso with the front of the mat. And then go ahead and find an interlace behind your back. You're pulling the shoulders back and down. Chin is lifted slightly away from the chest. 
The interlaced fingers are just reaching away from the sacrum. As you inhale, keeping the hips squared, begin to lean the torso forward. So you wanna feel that that back leg and the torso are in one straight line for now. We're not coming all the way forward into humble. Keep left hip back, pull your shoulders back, stay hovered. Inhale, with strength from that front leg, rise back up. Release your grip, take your arms out and up, inhale. This time as you exhale, take right arm over left, eagle arms right over left. Now take the thumbs away from the forehead. Come back into the legs for a minute. Make sure you're not collapsing. Stay nice and long in the torso, active in the legs. And then begin to lift your heart and your elbows slightly. Without losing length in the torso, soften through the jaw, soften through the shoulders. Let's move in the opposite direction. As you exhale, dip the elbows down just enough to feel your upper back round. Let your head go, breathe. Inhale, rise the elbows back up to neutral. Press into the left foot, step right leg forward, full eagle, Garudasana. If you fall out, get right back in. As soon as you're in, pull your shoulders back and down, take your weight into the heel and let your belly slide back towards the spine. Breathe right down the body, center line. Keep your legs as they are. Unwrap the arms and re-interlace the hands behind your back. Now slow with breath. Make your way back into warrior one with that chest opener. So the right leg steps back. Reassess your feet, make sure hips are back. We're right where we started. Inhale, lean the torso forward. And this time go ahead and come all the way inside the inner left thigh. So coming into humble warrior, let your head go and reach the interlaced fingers straight up towards the sky. As you exhale, drop your palms, drop your back knee, and come down inside of the left leg. So once you're inside of the left leg and your back knee is down, you can let your hips sink forward slightly. Take that right hand up towards the upper right corner of your mat and peeling the left foot open like a book. Take left hand to inner thigh and press your palm up towards the knee. The same direction as the bone. Fingertips crawl around the thigh. Guide your foot back to center and toe heel the left foot all the way back in. Set your palms down. Tuck back toes, take it back. Three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Now you're welcome to lower the leg if you'd like, or you can try shifting forward with the left leg lifted. Again, drop the leg if you need or squeeze those elbows in and lower all the way down to the belly. Once you reach the belly, take the right hand way out in front of you, half floor bow. Reach back, grab the outer edge of the left ankle, press and pull through the right palm and kick back through the left leg, opening up the left side of the chest. 
You're counterbalancing your kick with that press and pull to the right palm. It's causing your shoulder to activate, to turn on. And exhale, release. Take hands under shoulders, squeeze the elbows in, press back, downward dog. Let's take three or four big breaths here. <clears throat> On your next inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, take knee to right elbow, hold. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step it through, warrior one. So hips are square, lift up out of lower back. And then go ahead and find that interlace behind the back right away. Shoulders back, chin lifted. And you're just Taking the interlaced fingers a little away from the sacrum and feeling the stretch run across the top of the chest, so shoulder to shoulder. Keeping your hips square, begin leaning the torso forward slightly. So you're staying hovered away, away from the thigh and you're a straight line from that back left heel all the way up the leg, up the torso and out through the crown of the head. Keep the right hip back, don't let it splay out. Inhale, rise back up. Release your grip, take your arms out and up. Inhale. Exhale, left arm over right, eagle arms, left over right. Take your thumbs away from the forehead. Square your hips, and as you inhale, lift your heart, lift your elbows. Now exhale, soften through the jaw, pull your shoulders back and down, and make sure you're still lifted up out of the lower back. Breathing here. Let's find that rounding now. As you exhale, dip the elbows down just enough to feel the upper back spread. Hold. Inhale, rise those elbows up. And remember, you just take an extra step if you need it. You're pressing into the right foot. Stepping the left leg up and over the right, full eagle, Garudasana. Try and keep your weight in your heels and even here, work on sliding the shoulders back and down. Now keep your legs the same. Unwrap the arms, rediscover the interlace behind the back, shoulders back. You're slowly unwrapping the legs, coming right back into warrior one. So left leg steps back. Really take that minute to make sure your stance feels good. So feet hip width distance apart. Lift up out of lower back, pull your shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, keep the right hip squeezed in as you fold all the way into humble. Head relaxed. You can re-find the interlace if you're feeling stressed in the upper back. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, let your head go. Exhale, release. Drop your back knee. Come inside of that right leg. Let your hips sink forward. Take your left hand, plant it way above the left shoulder, and then peeling the right foot open like a book. Right hand to the inner right thigh. 
Press your palm up towards the knee. So same direction as the bone. Crawl the fingertips around the thigh. Guide the right foot back to center and toe heel your right foot back in. And take both hands down, let's take it back. Three-legged dog, right leg lifts, up and back. Remember, you can lower the leg at any time if you need to, shift forward, high plank. Squeeze elbows in as you lower all the way down to the belly. This time, left palms way out in front of you. Reach back, grab the outer edge of the right ankle, flex the toes. Press down through left palm as you kick back through the right leg. Open up the chest. Release. Take hands under the shoulders, squeeze the elbows in, and take it back, downward dog. Move from your downward facing dog, take big toes together to touch. Bend your knees, take your gaze forward. You can walk or you can float, we'll meet at the top. Inhale, find a halfway lift. And from your halfway lift, toe heel your feet apart so they're as wide as your hips, toes out, heels in, and sit down into a squat. If you have a block and you need to sit on a block, you're welcome to, or a pillow. If you're having trouble getting the heels down, try and take your feet out a little wider. And then once you're in your squat, spread the inner thighs with the elbows, lift up to the chest. And just take a couple breaths here, feeling the breath come in through the nose and run right down the body center line. All right, lower your hands, lift your hips. Take your toes forward and then bending the knees as much as you need, fold over the thighs. Let your head go. You can shake it out left and right. And keeping the arms by your side, just take a slow roll up to standing. And have a little sip of water or coffee if you need it, and then we'll finish up. Okay. Oh, good. I think we actually got everybody over here. You guys are amazing. We're figuring out this Zoom thing together. All right. So from the top of your mat, take your arms by your side. Make sure you have some room in front of you to extend the leg. So shoulders down as you inhale, lift the right knee up, keep your arms by your side, and extend your right leg out straight. Do you want to feel your standing leg strong? That right quad is turned on. Holding for three, two, one, warrior three. Right leg back, chest forward, arms back. Try and level out your hips and hold. If you need to take the hands down, you're always able to. We are exiting into high crescent. So the left knee bends as the arms reach forward and the back ball of the foot drops. Rise the arms up. Back heel lifted. 
Soften through your shoulders. Now as you inhale, straighten both legs. Hips are squared, arms are lifted, chest is lifted. Little extension through the back heel. Stay with me. As you exhale, re-bend just the left knee. Press to take back off through warrior three into standing splits. Your hands lower, your right leg lifts. This time we're here for about five or six breaths. So you are welcome to keep the hands down. You can work on balance, taking a hand or two to the calf, hands to heart. If you really like that interlace behind the back, you can open up the chest a little more. I know some of you are just waiting to pop up. You can do that too. I say some of you like it's not me. We're here for three, two, one, take your transition out slowly into pyramid. The right leg drops and you can fold over the left thigh. Pivot to face your right. So coming into that wide-legged forward fold, let's take both sets of toes out for skandasana, right knee bends, left leg straightens. You're welcome to stay really upright on this if you need to. If you're sinking down a little deeper, watch out for hyperextension in the left knee. You're welcome to take both hands down. You can take them to heart. You can open up the side body, open up the chest, or even find a bind. Release your hands down if they're lifted. And make your way back in towards center line, taking the toes in, the heels out, and table topping the spine. Inhale. Uddiyana on the exhale, reset. With strength, when you release, rise up to stand. From here, shorten your stance. So we're preparing for trikonasana. We want a little bit of a shorter stance. Angle your left toes forward. Front heels in line with back arch. Now send your hips way back. Take your arms in line with your shoulders and with your hips back, inhale, lean the torso forward, reach, reach, reach. When you can't reach any further, the only thing that moves is the arms. So left fingertips down, right arm up. Try and tuck the left sitting bone or the uh, left side of the body under and really open up to the chest, open up to the hip. Take your gaze down, reach the right fingertips up overhead, and then take them all the way down, drop back knee, half splits. Straighten the left leg, slide the left heel forward. And you're welcome to stay up on the fingertips here the entire time. Especially if you're up on the fingertips, think about pulling your chest forward and your left hip slightly back so you get a deeper stretch to the hamstring. If you have splits within your practice, you're welcome to start taking it there.
wherever you are, half or full, stay there. Spread the toes and just begin reaching for the ball of the left foot. So you're going to feel the stretch right on the top of the left uh, foot, but also that should change the way you feel it in the leg. Go ahead and slowly begin to slide the left heel back until the left foot plants. Then you can let your hips sink all the way back forward into lounge lunge. So the right hand comes way above right shoulder. Grab a hold of the left knee this time. Keep the foot planted and ease the right side of the torso forward. If you want that right palm way above your right shoulder, left knee stays squeezed in. And if you want to deepen the stretch, you can reach back for the back foot, pulling heel in towards the butt. Release the back foot if you have it. Lower your hands, tuck back toes. Step, right leg forward to fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, release your head, fold in. And press down to the feet, inhale, rise up. Taking palms up. Exhale, take hands to heart. So we'll get into that other side. Take your weight this time into your right leg. As you inhale, lift your left knee up. Release the arms by your side and extend that left leg out straight. So your standing leg is strong. The left quad is turned on. Hold here for three, two, one, warrior three, left leg back. Lean the torso forward, take the arms back, level out your hips and just take your gaze straight down. This transition requires breath, mindfulness, slowness, we're transitioning into high crescent. So as the right knee bends, the arms come forward, the back foot drops, and then the chest, the torso rise up, front knee bend to start high crescent. Inhale, straighten both legs. Square the hips. Extend to the back heel, lift up to the chest. Keep your shoulders soft. Stay with me. Exhale, rebend just the right knee. Press to take off through warrior three and all the way into standing splits. Lower your hands, release your head. Lift the left leg straight up towards the sky. We're here for five or six breaths this time. So any of those variations, hands down, hands to calf, hands to heart. The interlace behind the back for that little press up. A release into pyramid is slow. Slowly lower the left leg down and just fold over the right thigh. If you need to wiggle the toes and lift them, you're able to. And inhale, lift the chest. And pivot to face your left, meeting in that wide-legged forward fold. Hands underneath the shoulders. Angle both sets of toes towards the outskirts of the room. And as you exhale, bend left knee, straighten right leg, skandasana. Again, you can keep both hands down. You can open up. You can find a bind. And you might be really upright. You might be more up here. That's okay, too.
Slowly release any grip you have. Make your way back to center, angle both sets of toes in and tabletop your spine. Inhale. Exhale, Udiana, reset. Use that first inhale to rise up to stand. And then shorten your stance for Trikonasana. Then turn around. So this time your right toes are angling forward. Your front heels in line with your back arch. Send your hips way back. Take your arms in line with your shoulders and as you inhale, lean and reach, reach, reach. Then the only thing that moves are the arms. So right fingertips down, left arm up. And try and tuck the right side of the torso, the hip under the left. Take your gaze slightly down and begin reaching the left arm overhead. And pulling the left hip down, dropping the left hand, drop your left knee, half or full split. So the right leg straightens, the right heel comes out. Again, if you are um, in half splits, come up onto the fingertips, pull up, work on pulling chest forward and right hip slightly back. So that pull of the right hip back is going to get a deeper stretch into the hamstring. And again, if you'd like to work towards full split, so you're somewhere in between. Ooh, I'm definitely somewhere in between on this side. Wherever you are, breathe into those tight spots. Notice what's happening to the shoulders. Don't let them shrug up, keep them back. Keep the torso long, the neck free. And spread the toes, begin to reach to the ball of the right foot. Feel that stretch running up the top of the foot and into the back of the leg. And then slide your right foot back until the right foot plants, the right knee bends, and let your hips sink all the way forward for lounge lunge. The left hand plants above left shoulder. You're grabbing a hold of the right knee as you ease the left side of the torso forward. Knee stays in, foot stays planted, especially if you're reaching for the back foot. If you have a grip on the back foot, release it. Lower your palms, tuck back toes. Let's take it back, downward dog. So you're one and only chaturanga today. Shift forward, high plank. Let's take it together. Exhale, squeeze elbows in, lower halfway, pause, inhale. Pull chest forward, upper dog. Shoulders back, little micro bend in the elbows as you drag your chest forward. Take it back, downward dog. Let's take three or four breaths here. And from your downward facing dog, take big toes together. Gaze forward, bend your knees. You can walk or float, meet at the top. Halfway lift, inhale. From your halfway lift, lift the heels, bend the knees, sit down into a little ball, and roll onto your back. <clears throat> so once you are down on your back, plant both feet. Feet are planted, reclined pigeon. Set the left ankle down above the right knee. We'll lift the right foot and reach your left hand through the legs to clasp around the right thigh. Shoulders are back, head is down. Flex the left toes in towards the shin as you pull through the arms and balloon the lower back with breath. We've got five big ones here.
keep your legs where they are. Release your grip, take your arms along with the shoulders and finish wrapping the left leg over right for eagle legs. Then let both knees fall to the right. The supine twist with eagle legs. If that wrap of the legs is too much, you can stack the knees instead. Begin coming out. Begin unwrapping the left leg first. Come back to center and just set your left foot down. Set your right foot down. We'll go right into the other side. Right ankle sets above the left knee. Lift the left foot, reach right hand through the legs to clasp around left thigh. Right toes flat, shoulders back, head down, shin into chest. Breathe right down into the lower back, five breaths. Keep your legs where they are. Release your grip. Finish wrapping right leg over left, and this time the knees fall to the left. Supine twist with eagle legs. And begin coming out. Unwrap the right leg. Come back to center and just plant both feet. So we're going to take a Shavasana together. And I want you guys, before you move, to think about where you feel the most comfortable. Because we're going to end up doing Brahmari breath, that bu buzzing kind of sound similar to Oming, within our Shavasana. So you might feel most comfortable with your feet planted. You might take the legs out in front of you. You might take your legs up the wall, or you could even sit up against the wall if you're somebody that doesn't feel great laying down. But find a comfortable position where you're able to lay comfortably in stillness. Very nice, just on, I see you. <laughs> All right, so, Brahmari, you guys have found your position of stillness. Brahmari is a style of breathing. It's meant to imitate the humming sound of bees, so very vibrational. And to access Brahmari, you're taking an inhale, and then with the mouth closed, your exhale is a vibrating sound, so a buzzing. The higher up on the body we're buzzing into, the more high pitched. The lower on the body, the more low pitched. So if I was buzzing into my brain, it would sound something like If I was buzzing down into my lower belly, it would sound something more like All right, so everybody find your position of stillness. And let's just start by taking one hand to the heart and one hand below the heart. The Brahmari breath into this kind of center of the body. It's gonna be monotone and sound. Take a deep inhale to prepare. 
that is below the heart. Take that hand to the throat or even behind the throat if that feels more comfortable and take the hand that's on the heart right on top of the head. So Brahmari into the upper part of the body, the brain, the head. This is gonna be a very high pitched, borderline annoying sound. Take an inhale to prepare. Take the hand that's on top of the head, right on top of the belly button. Take the hand that's on the neck, right below 